One of my favorite productivity tips is creating systems that make it easier for other people to collaborate with you. And nothing is more frustrating than having to work to find the information of a colleague or if your student have to find the information for your teacher. Hello teachers, Marielle here, and today's teaching tip is all about upgrading your email signature so that you can make sure people have instant access to your information. Check out the time codes below in the description box to help you focus on individual sections, but be sure to stay until the end where I show you what to include if you're using a personal email to apply for teaching jobs. Perfect for those of you just finishing your teaching credential or looking to apply for a new teaching position. All right, let's jump right in. There are a lot of different applications to use, but today I'm going to show you how to use Signature Hound because it's free. You can customize it with photos and links and it's user friendly. And most importantly, it's free, like no strings attached free. Check out the description box for a link to their site. Begin by going to Signature Hound and creating a free account. Now I've already created some templates and signatures, but the first time you sign in, you're going to click create a new signature. Name it whatever you want, for example, school email. Here is where you can create either a custom template if you have one, but I just like the basic single column one template. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a preview of what it's going to look like. Now I will go through step by step, but what's great about this is each section is customizable and you can remove any of the sections that you don't want. On the left hand side, it'll guide you through all the different setup actions. Here are the templates where we've selected the single column one. Next, add in your personal information. You can upload a picture by clicking this button here. Once you've inserted the picture, it shows on the preview on the right. Then fill in all the appropriate information. For a teaching email signature, I like to add things like my pronouns and my job title or the class or grade I teach. And of course, you'd want to put in your school email address. Next, you can put in the school phone number with your proper extension if you have it. Now, we are going to customize the rest of this in the next section. If you have a logo for your school or maybe something to do with your Google Classroom, you can put it here and it'll show up right here. I'm not going to put that in, so I'm actually just gonna turn it off. Company name, you'll see, appears right here. This is where you could put something like your school name or any other information you want underneath your name. Next is the address. Now, of course, you can put in the school address if you'd like to but I like to include things like the room that my classroom's in and my office hours, for example. And you'll notice it shows up over here. Next, you could put the school website, but I've also found it's kind of nice to put a direct link to your Google Classroom or whatever LMS you use. This next section corresponds to all of these social media icons. Now you can leave these on there, but of course I'd recommend using the ones affiliated with your school account. If you don't have any, it's very simple to just remove it like this. What's great about this is you can customize these URLs so that these icons link directly to whatever social media site you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove them just in case you don't want them on there. You'll notice that there's a disclaimer on the bottom and that there's also the created by Signature Hound. We'll get rid of those in just a moment. Click on design. And here you have a little bit more customization around what kind of icons are showing over here. So for example, you can click on it and you can do ones that are outlined a little bit differently if you prefer that. Or if you don't want any of these, you can just toggle this button and it turns off the icons and it just has the information. Change the theme colors by clicking here or putting in the hex code if you know it. You can also customize a lot of things like the line width and whatnot. Or the icon color, font size, or type of font. Here is the toggle that you want to turn off if you want to get rid of that created by signature hound. And if you click on this side under disclaimer, you can also clear that if you don't want that at the bottom of your e email signature. All right, here's the preview of what it looks like. Obviously, I'd probably play around with the colors a little bit more if this is the one I was creating for myself, but you can do the customization however you'd like. Next, you wanna in click Install. And here's the really great part. 
Depending on what sort of email client you use, you can click any one of these and it'll customize the link for you. So for example, most of us I think tend to use Gmail or Google for education. So I would click this one. And it walks you through the steps of actually how to put it into your email signature, which I'll show you in just a moment. Click copy signature, and now it's copied to your clipboard. Now let's go to your actual Gmail settings. In the top right hand corner, hit settings, see all settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, under signature, no signature, hit create new, and here you want to title it. Now it's already copied to your clipboard, so all you need to do is put your cursor here and hit paste, and there it is. It doesn't default to inserting it. So under signature defaults, for all new emails, that means an email you write, you would want to include that email signature. On replies or forwards, meaning you're replying to somebody that's emailed you, I'd also want to include it. So I would want it for both. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. Now, whenever you compose an email, it's there on the bottom and all the hyperlinks work. In case you're curious why Signature Hound is free, check out his pricing page. It's got an interesting story about how the founder, an Australian named Madison Giles, was a one-man show running the site, but he ended up getting a job as a firefighter, but continues to host the site in order to help others for free. The signature items I showed you are great for current teachers, but what if you're using your personal Gmail in order to apply for a teaching job? Well, here are the things I'd include in my email signature if I was creating that for a job seeker. Here I have things like my name and pronoun, and I really think it's important to include a picture as well. Underneath, I have my roles, educator and administrator. And then I think it's really important to include any sort of certifications or credentialing you have. Underneath, you'd want to include your email and a phone number to reach you. And obviously you don't need to put in your exact address, but it might be helpful for you at least to put the city and state. That way, if you're looking for jobs that are local, they know that you've already established residency in that area. If you have a YouTube channel or any sort of online website or blog or portfolio, I'd also include the link there. That way they can see your materials. In the bottom, I would include things like a link to your LinkedIn profile, to your Skype account if you think you're gonna be doing a video or Skype interview, and things like Instagram or whatever social media account you have is part of your portfolio, obviously not your personal Instagram account. Okay, comment below and tell me what items I forgot to include in the email signature or things that you like to include in email signatures. And you can also tell me whether or not my hair looks like Tiffany Haddish's character in Secret Lives of Pets too. Interested in more email tips? Then check out this video that will show you five super quick ways to process your email without having to give up your entire prep period. And what's great is that it's practically automated so you won't give up any of your precious time reading and rereading emails throughout the day.